I don't know. Eh? Nah, that's fine. That's okay. So Charles Oliveira. Now nah, this is the fight now. Um, you see, you look at Charles, you look at Benil, and you 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 are mesmerized by these numbers, right? All right. Uh, nice. You and it, put in they quite Charles. similar. Did you know that Benil had over twenty fights in the UFC? Yeah, I know Ben. I know Benil has been out here. Benil so. has has twenty one fights in the UFC. Benil's been twenty one, right? Okay. okay. You've got Charles Oliveira with twenty one wins. By submission, by submission and nine Charles by knockout. Charles Oliveira has been in the UFC. Jesus, this guy has been here I'm imp- for, for, for long. I'm impressed by something with Charles Oliveira, okay. right? And I think this is his advantage. He's got he uh, he lands more strikes than Benio, okay. right? He lands uh, per minute. He lands about three point four eight per minute. He lands three point two. Okay. Um, significant. Oh, he he absorbs three point two. So he takes about three point two. He lands about 3.48, right? He's on the up in that, but his defense is weaker than what? Benil. Okay. Right? Now, here's the thing that I was looking at and I, uh-huh. I was paying attention to. Benil's losses, he's got four losses in the UFC. Okay. In he those has, four losses. He has four losses. Period. Four losses. Yeah. Period. Mm-hmm. Right? In those four losses, um, most of them have been by knockout. Okay. Three out of out of four have been by knockout. So seventy five percent of those came by knockout. And we know that Charles Oliveira is a sneaky knockout artist. Although people don't recognize he recognize him for be having heavy hands. He but doesn't, he doesn't have heavy hands. Well, Poirier says, "Geez, that when it's that hits, it, it's weird." Yeah, but it's not, KG it's weird. says, "It's not, it's not." Geez, it's when not, it hits, it's we- no, it's it is. Weird. No, it catches you. Yeah, like, they were oh, all of them were it's like not heavy. It's like, oh, what is it? What, then? What, I don't know. It's just if it's uh, not heavy, what is it? I guess it? maybe it's just precision because it's just precise. Maybe catches you at the right spot, mm. and you just go, "Oh, all right, I'm down now." And even though me now. he averages more takedowns than Benio does, okay. I do not think he's a better grappler. Who? Be, take Oliveira. Than Benil. Yeah, no, he, he has more takedowns than Benil. He averages more takedowns than Who, Benil. Who's a better grappler? I think Benil's a better grappler than, than, than Charles, Charles. Oliveira. Yeah, when you watch them actually grapple and the... Yeah, no, he's got a better takedown defense. 80% to 52%. And uh, I know that's not grappling, <laughs> but in terms of technique, <laughs> you really too, think that he's got, too, I just think he's got, he's got submission, but I don't think he's, he's better at grappling. At grappling. Yeah, I don't think he's better at grappling than Benil. <laughs> I really think Benil is actually a high level grappler, much more than what people give him credit for. I've seen Benil, who was it against? Well, I'll tell no, you now. The, the thing is, no, people want to see Benil against the, the boy. Because they think maybe he's a tougher thingy than uh, uh, Oliveira was. So maybe that's why, that's why people want to see no. Benil versus your uh, boy. But yeah, plus the reach, the height. Yeah, so they, that was the thing because they were like, yeah, we want to see that. But they thought they thought Charles Oliveira had some sort of chance. I thought he had a chance, but geez, man, he didn't look like he had any chance against. Uh, Islam's a Islam. different animal. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm just saying. Like, we, we, I thought maybe he had some sort of chance, at least in the feet, but he got dominated on the feet. He got dominated they, they everywhere. The and yeah, no, and they put him on the ground, and I was like, oh no, he can't even, he can't even move on the ground. He yeah, just, that's why just, I think that. No, that's what I'm saying. Benil's you, probably a better. I don't know. I don't know about you, that one. Wait, so wait, that. you've got Charles here. What? Uh, but I don't know. I, don't, I actually, I actually was thinking about this, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know who I want to win. I don't even. No, I don't not even, who do you no, yeah, want to I know win. I'm saying, Who yeah, do you think yeah, is no, better? So I'm like, who's better? I, so I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's a 50 50. Numbers thing. say Charles. No, I'm saying, I'm saying I look at it, like, ah, maybe it's a 50 50. Then I'm like, okay, if it's 50 50, who do I want to win? I'm like, I don't even know who I want to face thingy, uh, Makachev. Okay. Yeah, maybe they should, they should, they should fight. I'm really, <laughs> if I'm being honest, right? other side. if I'm being honest, yeah? I think Benil is the better fighter. But then I think Charles does have the experience. 
to yeah. be able to combat a lot of what yeah, Benil may is, bring to the table. He's proven us wrong a million times. Who? Charles? Charles. Yeah, it, well, he's, well, three is in a million. Yeah, no, it's, it's a million. We, it's a, we, it's we, a lot. We, we, we yeah, really thought much. those three guys we were thought, we thought, the oh, cream of the crop guy? and he actually did yeah, he, beat all of them pretty comfortably yep. even. Yeah. So, with, After but then with Benil... Uh, watching Benil out of the fights, I think okay. I've seen like four or five fights of Benil, okay. and he just looks really impressive. Knox, he when he's fight, especially the last fight that he had with Gamrot, yeah, Gamrot just we were expecting Gamrot to come out here because Khabib just before the fight was like Gamrot deserves, yeah, yeah no, it deserves, nah, they wanted and an they were, fight. They, no, they but they were overlooking, <laughs> they were overlooking <laughs> Benil, yeah, they don't want and then Benil comes out and then just. Dominates Gamrot, and then that's when I was like, I think I think Benil's probably the, the second best fighter in the UFC's lightweight division. I really think so because he's got he's got it all. He can he can he can strike. Well, he's not the lightweight yet. You can't really say he's the lightweight yet. But in terms of, I would actually like to see that a matchup versus Benil. No, Benil versus. Volk. In, Volk, yeah, I'd really yeah. like to see that matchup. That's Hamill. actually yeah, apparently, one apparently, in which I'd be interested. Apparently, Habib was worried about Volk versus Makachev. I, it, it, I'm it, sure DC, he was. DC said uh, Habib called him and said, like, "Hey man, I'm worried about this fight. Volk is actually a tougher matchup for for Makachev, and we saw that. So yeah, he said. People, he said a lot of people were surprised, but Habib." wasn't he was like nah this guy this is that's why he wanted to go there and fight him because mm. he was like yeah this is a tough match mm. we want to go we want to go for the tougher fights mm. i think they think this is piece, a piece of cake benil yeah that's that's why that's what i think that's what i think at least that's what i think i think they think uh thing is a piece of cake yeah maybe you should see maybe benil should win and see benil but I then think, after the fight wait after the gamrod fight yeah Khabib was like, no, okay, guys, here we've got yeah, some. Okay. Nah, he just, said it. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, but they don't acknowledge him like that, dog. They, they, they've been disrespecting Benil, dog. I'm ben, giving, I ben, won't Benil, lie. Ben, Benil was supposed to fight for this title, what, two two times ago or mm. whatever? Nothing. Now he's fighting, thingy for the title, for, for them to go fight for the title again. Mm. They just, they're just pushing him back for... For some reason, I feel bad for the guy, but I don't really feel bad for him to be. Honest. But do you think? Yeah, wait, yeah. okay, yeah, I, okay, I can tell you. I think Benio's gonna win. That's okay. my fight prediction, okay. right? I think he wins by by decision. Okay. I think it might go. It's either decision. Decision. Nah, Charles Oliveira's not getting to a decision. I think he it might go before the, the, the Ooh, decision. you see now that's has, that's the that, yes, that's the, the problem with Charles because this guy can go for a while. Like yeah. he really keeps you in there, I and think, then he makes you give up. I think he so, might give up. <laughs> so because he used to give up, but he he came to himself a mm, bit, Charles. Yeah, but then but, have I you mean, ever seen Benil beat up? That's my question to you. Nah, Have not, you not ever really, seen him look like he was losing a fight in any form of way? Uh, not really, but you've uh, never, right? Yeah, but uh, have you know. ever seen the, him on the wrong side of the fight? We have it. No, yeah, I the, think it was the first fight that we watched, and we were like, "Oh, who's this tall guy?" Yeah, because he was fight? just. And then, he, and then we're like, he "Whoa!" Just, he, <laughs> he looks bored. Yes. And he's, he's like, "Ah, oh, all right, this guy can fight." And then he, be, yo. I'm just there is no one for Benil Darius in the UFC right now. There's absolutely no one, except for well, you can debate with Islam, of course. We'll, right? see, we'll see what happens on. I'm a big so, Islam so fan, Saturday but morning, I can even Sunday, acknowledge that Sunday this morning. is probably no. Oh, fight, you, your you, fight prediction, Knox. You can't say you will see later. Uh, Chelsea Oliveira. Chelsea Oliveira by submission. Wow. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. I, said I, I just, just. I just. Okay. And like no, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know what because I, 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 I've been thinking about it. I'm like, ah, what's gonna happen in this fight? I've been thinking, so I'm like, all right. So now you guys, just came for prediction, submission, Oliveira. Charles Oliveira by submission. Charles Oliveira by submission. Would you put money Fed. on it? Money? No, I wouldn't put money on it. I, I knew you were going to say that. I'm not going to put money on that. Nah, I never put money ah, on that. Ah, okay. No, I, I could never. I, I really have Benil, actually. I really have Benil. I, I, I can't see Benil on the wrong side of this fight. I just can't. I, huh? I can see Charles losing more than Benil losing. Plus with the injury that he just had. Oh, it, it doesn't... Okay. You, yeah. 
No. no how, how long Benin fought when? Oh, okay. So he just fought Nana. Yeah. So he's still, he's still kind of. He's fine. Okay. I don't know. Well, we don't know. His camp hasn't come out and said, well, he's injured or anything. No, but no, no, no. They shouldn't do that. They should stop doing these things of. Uh, I was injured. Uh, they should just keep it to themselves. The UFC should just say we're postponing the fight to another time. Yeah, but, but anyways, yeah, yeah. Charles, Charles, I don't see Charles winning. It's, but it's fair. All right. Yeah. But yeah, man, guys, uh, thank you for listening, watching, subscribing, and liking our videos on the on the pod. On the pod. I'm Nox. This is Marubi. Peace out. This is Nox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Is that the song you want? Ha, 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 ha.